Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to bring you this magnificent scooter. It's from a company called Arena. Uh, they are based in Shanghai. They are from 2002. And uh, their main focus is exporting uh, electric vehicles, motorcycles. And uh, with, their fuel, with their branch in England, they decided to build and uh, launch this uh, beautiful scooter, which is called the Rina S. And uh, I do like the scooter. I like the lines of the scooter. I like the design. And I do like the performance, that engine, that it comes with it. Uh, we're going to talk about that uh, in a while. It's a really, really well-built scooter. Tall, tall wheels, 12, 12 inches rims. Uh, the buttons in good quality, everything uh, it's top notch on this scooter. Of course, you have some materials that are plastic, but that's uh, nothing that I wouldn't uh, would make me not buy this scooter. Important things in my country, you're gonna have these uh, two colors only: the the, the white and uh, the blue. Total weight 110 kilograms, so it's very light and very easy to maneuver. And I do think it is a really good scooter for the urban community. For my daily use, it is good because uh, we do have riding modes and it gives me the possibility to ride in, uh, up to 80 kilometers an hour, which is nice. Uh, but uh, the, where she feels comfortable, it's inside the city. Of course, if you do want to save the batteries. If you have to commute between, uh, like between cities, like 20, 25 kilometers like I did, I'm going to explain you a little bit on, uh, forward in the video how much uh, battery it's drained. We're going to start here on the front with, of the motorcycle, as I usually do. The mirrors, I like the mirrors. They are round, not the shape that uh, uh, I do prefer. But since it's an electric scooter, there is no vibration, so I can see perfectly uh, what it is behind. We have these LED lights. I like the design of these lights. They have good lights. I always try them in my garage, as you are watching uh, by, by the images. So I think the lights at night are good. The turn signals are full LED. And what I like is that you have a sound when you put the blinkers on, which is good. So you always know the blinkers are on. Hydraulic suspension on the front. One disc combined uh, brake system. Rims, 12 inches rims with the tires, the Team Sum tubeless 120 slash 70. If we move on to the rear of the motorcycle, we do have this really nice seat. It is very comfortable for the rider and for the pillion. So it's the, one of the major points of the motorcycle. It's, the, it's this seat, it's wide, it's super comfortable and it's very pleasurable to ride with this seat. Uh, here we have the side stand and the central stand. We have uh, the foot pegs for, uh, for the pillion. Super easy, retractable, so they work perfectly. Underneath the seat, it's where we have storage compartment uh, for a uh, jet helmet, okay? I did try with a full face or full face helmet, it didn't work. Uh, Modular helmet, the modular helmet, it did fit, but the, the seat didn't close, only worked with the jet helmet. Of course, I'm talking helmets for a man head, which are bigger than a woman, so maybe the smaller sizes helmets will fit, but I didn't try with that. We also have the charging cable here, which I'm gonna talk to you in a while, and underneath this cover, which works with magnets, which is something you're gonna notice on this motorcycle, lots of things works uh, with magnets. We do have uh, a battery which is removable, which means in the future we will be able to charge it at home. Not the, at the moment we do not have the, the external charger here, so only the onboard charger, but very simple, easy to remove. They are lithium batteries, 72 volts, and they give you uh, around 100 kilometers uh, range. Like the, the trials they do, it's a person with 75 kilograms, flat roads, and the top speed at 45 kilometers an hour. Well, I'm 93 kilograms. I do have to carry my, my backpack another six kilograms. So you are talking about 100 kilograms. The roads I do ride, they have up, up hills and down hills, so it's not flat. And I will never ride at 45 kilometers an hour. It is too dangerous, too slow. Having said that, uh, the battery uh, last I did uh, yesterday full charge until my house around 30, 31 kilometers and I spent uh, 
59% uh, battery, which means if I do to reach the 100%, I will be able to do the 53 kilometers on the riding mode number three, which is the one that gives you more power. We'll talk, we'll talk about riding modes uh, in a while. Another thing we have here, a USB uh, charger. We have a switch on and off. If you decide, the, if you're going on vacation and leave the motorcycle for a while, you disconnect it. And you also have a, a security system for removing the battery. You do need to put the key here, turn it to remove uh, the battery. And basically that's it. After that, you put the cover, you put the batteries, you put my gloves and you close it. You do, we do have these really nice handles for the pillion. Everything you touch on this motorcycle feels premium and feels with good quality, okay? It's very, very pleasurable. Another thing which I'm going to show you, it, has, it is to be regarding maintenance, which basically, like I, like I showed you, uh, I, I told you before, they like magnets on this motorcycle. So look at this. Okay, done. We remove the side panels and we can access everything uh, we need on this side. Of course, the things that are on this side. The other side, we have other things. The panel is also removable, uh, which means that maintenance on the motorcycle it is very easy, so there is no complaining. Oh, we have to we have to dismount everything to reach every, blah blah blah. No, just remove the panels. You have everything at your hands to install. You just put it on place. Make sure the magnets are in place, and they, you hear that click, and it stays like this. Lights, everything. It's LEDs. The blinkers, of course, LED. We have here the charging port, which basically you, you press this button open this orange latch and connect the cable here. Super simple. We have an indicator of the charging. So when, when it's charging, it starts blinking. And when it's full charge, it goes green and indicates that it's full charge. One thing that I like about this system, it's that uh, it is silent. Other things, we do have hydraulic shock absorber, one disc on the rear, uh, the rims, 12 inches uh, aluminum rims, and the tires are exactly the same as the front, the Team Sum 120-70. Finally, we have, as you can see here, the engine, which is uh, a, on the rear wheel. It's a 3000 watt engine. And uh, the good thing, it is a very smooth engine. And when you are riding, it looks more powerful than, uh, than it is, which is really nice. And with this engine, you are able to have uh, uh, the top speed around 80 kilometers an hour, which is basically what I was able to do with this uh, electric scooter. Okay, we're going to talk now a little bit about the handlebar uh, dashboard and uh, this area here. So we're going to start with the uh, handlebar. So we have both brakes levers here. They don't, they don't have any adjustments. Uh, well, basically, they, they, it, there is no need on this uh, scooter. I like this button here, especially this one and this one, which I'm going to tell you. It's uh, uh, mediums and high beams. We have the blinkers. Okay, I'm going to connect the motorcycle because I said there, there was a sound when you do the blinkers and we're going to see. Okay. This is the blinkers on. Then you go to the middle. You have the horn, which is there. And you have the button, which is the P, uh, which means parking, where you can put on park and take the parking off. Basically, uh, you remove the side stand, it's on parking, and when you press it once, it will go uh, on ready mode with the gear which you have selected, one, two, or three. Uh, usually, I always, always drive on three. And once it says ready, you are ready to go. So before I do something wrong, I'm going to put on park because it's always good when you are stopped to have it on park. On this side, we have the riding modes, one, two, and three. Basically, one limits to 40 kilometers an hour, the two to 60 kilometers an hour, and the three will limit to whatever speed it is able to reach. Like I said, 180, 81 kilometers, 82 kilometers an hour was the top speed that I was able. We have the hazard lights here, and we have the forward, and reverse button, which basically means this motorcycle does have, motorcycle scooter does have a reverse. You press the button, you give it throttle, and the motorcycle will start moving back, and then you press forward to start uh, moving forward again. Here we have the ignition for the, for the key, standard ignition, turn, turn the steering for the left and 
turn the ignition, it locks the steering. If you leave it like this, twist to the left, it will open the seat. And if you twist it to the right, it will uh, engage the, the scooter. We have the grocery bag hook here, and we have these two uh, screens here. They are not screens, they are just to show you the levels of the fuel uh, for the brakes. But it's interesting they are there. Usually it's those little boxes here, so it's there. It's uh, really different and very interesting to have. Another thing to see, uh, it's not keyless, but we do have uh, a remote to connect and disconnect the alarm of the motorcycle because it does come with an alarm. And to finalize, I'm gonna talk to you uh, about my experience riding with this uh, beautiful scooter. Uh, the things I didn't like, for, the only thing for me, it's the suspension. Uh, it's uh, not the best of the world, but then we have a 12 inches rim and we have a really comfortable seat. And the three things together, they do give you a very comfortable ride. Uh, only on the really hard bumps, you will notice uh, that hard impact, but other than that, the ride will be smooth. Again, I would prefer to have uh, a, wind a windscreen here because I'm a tall guy and I, I do catch a lot, of, a lot of wind. So maybe the extras that, uh, that will come. Uh, and basically those are the things that I didn't like uh, very much. I, do, I, I loved these two buttons here, like I told you before. It's different and I like things that are different. The seat, super comfortable. The ride, super pleasurable. I like the distance that we have uh, between uh, my knees and the fairings. Well, talking about that, let's see how you can see how easy it is to go inside the, uh, on top of the motor or the scooter. And you can see I have four or five fingers distance, which is nice. And if I do carry a, a pillion, okay, if it's a I can move a little bit forward and the pillion will have much more space and it's very comfortable for both. Uh, the range, it's a normal range for an electric, uh, electric uh, scooter. Uh, like I said, lightweighted, 110 kilograms, like I, very easy to maneuver. I like the way they did the magnet panels on the side for uh, easy maintenance. And in my opinion, it is a really good scooter for uh, urban mobility. Inside the city, if you do riding mode number two, up to 60 kilometers an hour, you will be managed fine. You will have a bigger range. And the good thing is that if you do mode three, you can do intercity commutes, which uh, in my case, okay, where I live and where I work, I do have to move between cities. It is good because I can go at 80 kilometers an hour. The range is more limited, but I, st I get to my work and I, I just simply charge the motorcycle without uh, any problems and basically guys this is it uh, the last things i want to remind you it's my partnership with car track the gps tracker for your motorcycles there's a link down in the description that gives you the first month free it only works in portugal but if you know anyone in my country please let them know about this uh, this partnership and i'm gonna ask you to please subscribe to the channel click the notification bell follow my other networks and i really hope i can see you in the next one bye